this just straight up looks like a boss. Oh yeah, the, the tree, that <laughs> curse-ridden tree ahead. <laughs> All right, so that's a tree for a boss over there. Uh, I guess we had one other path to check and that was this way, but we have to deal with the, uh, the evil lady. Hi there, lady. Come on, try and cast a spell at me. Oh, the dude with the dog, too. That makes it so much worse. The dog's fast, the dude's just annoying. Oh, she delayed that. She dropped a tight night shard. I think running from the other bonfire is going to be easier for me than running from this one because uh, dealing with that lady every time. I mean, it's only the lady. I maybe I might be able to just run past her. Enough with the bowl, man. Oh, great machete. It is a D strength weapon, but it requires 24 strength and I do not have the level for that. I think there's one more big guy over here, and then I can finish exploring this side. And then hopefully the only way forward will be that boss. I think I can backstab this guy, although he's got the, the plank on his back, so doesn't that mean he's protected from backstabs? You look like you're, oh, yep, you're struggling. You're struggling all the way down into the valley. Popper. You look like a bigger popper. You still have the same amount of health. Duo ahead and then mob enemy ahead. Huh, it's a head. A luring skull. Yeah, it, it is a head. You're right. Some of these comments are always funny to me. I did see this person sitting here. Visions of ring. <laughs> yeah, I got the ring. All right. Had to had to fight my way f here to get it. All right, what's up, dude? Hmm. Another one of those unkindled, are you? See. All you faceless undead, behaving as if you deserve respect. Hmm. No matter. Heed my words. All right. If you've any sense, you go find a coffin to huddle up inside. I was in one. You here. 
in this land of hollows. You're like a frail maiden on the front lines. If, like the others, you're fool enough to play the champion, then go on ahead. Trapes right past the abandoned church. You'll face death. And it won't be pretty. Enough death to leave you broken. Time after time. <laughs> yeah. Alright, you're at Sherry Sort. If like the others, you'll fool and go on ahead. <laughs> so is this the church or was the other one the church? This is looking like a church. What is over here? Uh, a, a sealed entrance, that's what it is. <clears throat> Alright, what's in here? Is this another boss? Are there two bosses for me to choose from? A giant tree. Now, this doesn't exactly look like a boss fight right here. But there's a lot of candles and an elevator that just left me. God ahead. Tried jumping off. Oh! <gasps> Hello, Onion Knight. <laughs> oh, I thought he was about to attack me. Hmm. Hello, Onion Knight. What's up, my dude? Hmm. Oh. Pardon me, I was absorbed in thought. I am Siegbert of Katarina. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Tell me more, Siegbert. Have you ever walked near a white birch only to be struck by a great arrow? Yes, actually. Well, if I'm not mistaken, they come from this tower. Ah. Whoever it is, I'm sure I can talk some sense into them. I doubt. But I have to find a way up. And that's just the trouble. This lift only goes down, you see, and... Uh, Didn't I see it going up? Well, that doesn't get me anywhere. Hmm. This lift with a... I've got... Wait, sorry, what? This lift with a little warming up. I... Hmm. Try jumping off. Well, I guess we'll take the lift down and see where it takes me. Oh, wait a second. I saw I thought I saw the lift go up. But then he was coming up. So what I'd have to do is I have to bring the lift down and then get back out while the lift is down and then I can take it up. There's, it's like a it's like a two-tiered elevator. So Siegfried was I'm uh, sorry, I hit the mic. Siegfried was at the bottom and there was the one at the at the the middle level. He then activated the bottom one and brought them both up. So now I just brought them both back down. So I I'm down here now. I need to go I need to find a way up here without using the elevator to, to use that to take me all the way up. I think that's why they showed me what looked like the elevator going up. Because I was confused, because I th I'm like, I thought I saw the elevator come up. Okay, so somebody died here. What is that? You look like Vort. Oh, jeez. I don't have the health for this. You, I certainly don't have the health for this. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm heading that way because that's where my souls are. So I'm going to travel back to the cliff underside. And now I need to get across the bridge where the guys with all the... Which way is it again? It is this way, okay. I'm second guessing myself. What? Okay. Oh, I took more damage. I thought for a second I didn't take damage and then the damage came. Don't mind me.
Secret's gone. Oh. Shoot. Hmm. Hmm. I wanted to be down. I wanted to be downy, not uppy. No enemy ahead. Okay. Charmer ahead. Okay. Hey, what's up? Who are you? I'm one of the little guys. I want to make peace. I help anytime. Cool. I help. So we are friends now. He will stop shooting me. Yes. I help. You are helpful, thank you. That was an odd interaction. Is it because I already had the branches in my my inventory? Do I need to walk off? I think I have to walk off there. Right here. Sigrid, why do I keep hearing you go hmm every time I go down the elevator? Oh, hi. Hmm. Ah, oh, don't disappear like that. You had me downright worried. Sorry. But thanks to you, an epiphany has struck me square in the head. I've unraveled the riddle of this inscrutable lift. Yeah? <laughs> Brilliant. I mean, tell me all about it. Can you tell me how to activate it differently? On some days, I begin to doubt myself. I went up the tower, so I thought, then somehow ended up here. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Anyhow. Do you see that? That humongous beast. I need to get my souls before I go deal with him. I'm no coward, and I have a steady hand, but that thing makes my skin crawl. How now? Think twice before you go down that road. I could try talking. So no, I think not. It's far too overheated. I've got. I could. I've. Okay. Let's see, so I jumped off the elevator and I cannot, <laughs> I can't go back down the elevator. My only path is this way. The only question is whether I can like get my way back inside the tower without uh, I, aggroing big angry man. I need to retrieve my souls. That's my first objective. So if I have to use a homeward bone, Yeah, textures are looking great down there. Definitely a place that I can travel. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use a homeward bone. How many of them do I have left? Four. It's fine. So here's my here's my plan so that I don't have to waste a homeward boat every time I end up. I potentially end up dying down there. Uh, I'm going to because the elevator is in the up position right now. So what I can do is I can go and I can take it down. Then when I want to like, oh, the lady, why is she angry? Jeez. Guys, I'm just trying to get through here. <laughs> At least the ladies fricked off. All right, anyway, I was trying to explain my plan. So the elevator's in the up position. So if I take it now, it's going to take me down. What I can do so that I can have access to the down again, should I die down here, is I can send the elevator up. Like that. That's probably death. I can send the elevator up. 
so that if I die, I can run and take it back down again. Souls! I... I was scared for you. Man, I have a lot. Alright, gotta deal with Vort. Mini Vort. Got him. I got the Irithyll Straight Sword. It requires 14 dexterity. It's also a D. Do I have no weapons that are better than C for strength? I got a reinforced club. <laughs> that's, uh... Yeah, that's not doing me very good. Eventually, I'll have to pick a weapon and, like, commit to leveling it up. Oh, we're in a whole new area. At least there's a bonfire here. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. No, oh, you scared me. <laughs> Alright, so there's the tree boss, and there's the angry de fire demon in the road. So if I call the lift, and then I can warp the bonfire back and come back here again, the lift is now in the down position. I can use it to take me up to that street where the f big fire demon is and try and kill that guy. The Road of Sacrifices. Alrighty then. Uh, cliff underside. There's just a lot to, like, take into consideration in this game, man. Okay, so we go up here, go onto this roof, drop down here, drop down over here. Big ladies right there. Like the pathfinding is clearly not very good. They're just all getting stuck on that corner. Alright, so the lift is in the up position. I think I want to jump off to deal with the, the stupidity of this lift. I want to jump off when it's on its way down. Hmm. Woo! Okay, that was a little sketchier than I wanted it to be. All right, big angry fire demon. What's the worst that could happen? We got another Homeward Bone. I mean, I did end up using one here, so they probably placed that there purposely. Is this so I can, like, try and sneak around it without engaging it? This feels like quitter talk. He is, uh, threatening. <laughs> Large club.
I got an item called a pale tongue. I'll look at it later. A whole bunch of armor. It's gonna hide right here and hope he doesn't see me. Let him go by. I don't know how instantly this guy can kill me or if I actually have a chance to fight him. King of the hill. Hill taken. Nice. Red bug pellet. Okay, I've got a I've got a breathing room here. What is a pale tongue? Undead. Oh, burn in shrine to increase Estus recovery. Okay, nice, nice. Temporarily boost fire damage absorption. All right, that's probably going to be useful for fighting this guy, so I might want to actually use that. Young white branch to use to transform blending into environment. All right, I also found something called a pale tongue. What is that? Proof of invaders victory over a host of embers. Okay. Locking on required ahead. Oh. Be wary of ambush. No, you should have waited. Well, it's too late now. Oh no, now I need to protect him. Siegfried, you can't die. Word, kill him! Finish him! Please kill him! <laughs> Before he kills me! Before he kills the us! Yes! <laughs> He's alive! The Onion Knight lives! <laughs> uh, how you doing, bud? Uh, let me pop a squat with ya. Uh, <laughs> you gave me a heart attack, let me tell you, bud. Uh, d <laughs> I didn't realize that he had seen me, but you did not need to come in and rescue me. You just, you just keep your pretty little self safe. Are you, are, you hear me? You're not allowed to die. All right, what do you have to say? That was quite a performance. Thanks. But you mustn't get in over your head. I was fine. <laughs> we unkindled must put our duties first. But for the moment. We have a toast to make. Siegbrow? Your valor, my sword, and our victory together. Long may the sun shine. Long may the sun shine. <laughs> oh, I got a new uh, gesture. Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. You earned it. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. <laughs> okay. He, he's sleeping. <laughs> I got another gesture for looking at him sleep. What is Siegbrow? Restores HP and boosts frost resist. Nice. <laughs> I threw... 
I threw myself into that fight because I did not want him to die. Because <laughs> I remember in the first game, uh, he could die. Like, there was a pit with a bunch of these big old, like, octopus looking things. And he would just throw himself in there. And, uh, you had to, if you didn't protect him, he would, he would die. And I will not stand idly by while the Onion Knight is killed in my presence. That was, that was funny, though. It was not, I did not expect the, uh, the big guy to notice me. I was so focused on the, the cages that were looking at me. Hey there. I hope you're enjoying the videos of the Dark Souls 3 adventure with me and my best friend. I'd love to hear what you all think, so please leave a like or a comment and consider subscribing to follow my journey to beat as many games as I can. Thank you for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next one.